Hey guys, this is LPS Manga Productions and more, and today I will be showing you how to make your G3 LPS into bobbleheads like me since I'm a G4 or a G2. Or the ones with the magnets. I think that's the one with G1. I think I don't know anything about G's. The only G's I know is G2, G4, and G5. Okay, so I'm going to show you a G3. You probably all know what a G3 is. Three is okay. Here's the G3. I have a horse and this cocker spaniel. I think you'll see this cocker spaniel in one of my friend's videos. His name is O'Brien. O'Brien, and his name is Captain Pokemon Hero. You should go check him out. And I made a video with him, a collab or whatever. So these are like kind of hard to turn. I've been turning them for a while, so it's not that hard. Same with this one. Come on out, G2. So this is the G2, the ones with the holes, just the holes. These do have holes, but they're like really tiny. Okay, this is the one that I'm customizing. I already started yesterday and today because I actually had it all down but I accidentally deleted it <gasps> so I'll be showing you how to make it into a bobblehead and really simple to take off so it's like a triangle now so all you need is the G2 the G3 body and some sharp scissors so all you just have to do is carefully try not to cut yourself and cut it into a triangular shape like that and take it off necessary so you want to keep doing this until it gets into a triangular shape like this and it's really easy now to put on so since this the head is pretty good I'm gonna do the body so I'm just gonna take off the wait I don't think I'm just gonna take off the head and hold it by this Okay, so I am using yellow acrylic paint, and it's bright yellow. Probably it's not focusing, so yeah. So I'm just gonna put it on now. Since it has a brown tummy from before, I think it's gonna take a while for me to do the body, and I kind of did water down the paint. So I'll just do the front. So I'll be back once it's dry. So this is the second coat. I didn't bother to film the part for the first coat. So this is what it looks like. I think it'll take about four. Like, so two more. Okay, almost finished. So just one more coat and I'm finished. And then I'll start doing the designs and the eyes. So I'm going to blow dry it to make it faster. Sorry for the noise. I'm back and this is what it looks like when I'm when it's dry and I almost forgot the tail. Okay, so this is after three coats for the tail, and then the fourth coat will be the final. The fourth? Yeah, I think I said the fourth. Okay, guys, I'm finished the 
pull LPS and it looks pretty yellow and pretty cool. So I'm thinking of doing the nose. So I think it's going to be like a really, really light pink if I can get it. Got some white. I got some white and some red out. So I'm just going to mix it. That's some um, nice pink. Like it's kind of like a really light bubblegum pink. Ooh, like it. Okay, right now I'm just taking out this ball tool I have that I use for clay. I'm just doing it for the paint. So I'm just doing it on the smallest one. I do have more, but I'm just doing it on this one. Okay. So this is the pink nose. You probably can't see it because my camera doesn't focus that well. Now time to do the inside of the ears. This is what it looks like so far, so I'm going to let it dry and I'll be right back. Hey guys, I'm back and this is what it looks like. So I'm going to do the tummy pink too and the tail inside there pink too and I might do dark pink freckles like a cupcake like yeah that's what I'm thinking of hey guys I'm back and I did about four coats of the light pink pull up the paint um, four coats of the light pink so I'm going to create the freckles on my custom and then I'll do the eyes okay um, I didn't show my tummy, the tummy, yeah I did, and I had to put five coats on the tummy, and the freckles, these are the freckles, I just did three, so I think it's going to be a cupcake squirrel, so time to do the eyes, I'm so excited, okay right now I am painting the eyes.